Hey everyone, my name is Will Valida, and in this video, we're going to learn how to scan our bicep infrastructure code in GitHub Actions using Microsoft Defender for DevOps. So in this video, we'll learn what Defender for DevOps is, how we can configure it to work with our GitHub repositories, and how we can incorporate code scanning when deploying our bicep templates. Now, Defender for DevOps is a service in Microsoft Defender for Cloud which helps security teams and developers manage the security in their DevOps processes across multiple pi multi-pipeline environments. It helps, protect, helps you, as your developers, protect your apps and resources right down from your code all the way to your deployed resources in the cloud. Defender for DevOps can identify issues in your code, which can be correlated with other cloud security insights to help you fix those issues. Using Defender for DevOps, you can identify vulnerabilities in your code, such as misconfigurations, expose secrets within your code, and potential vulnerabilities caused by open source dependencies. You can also enable security for your infrastructure code and container images to minimize misconfigurations and vulnerabilities reaching your production environments. So working alongside your security teams, you can identify critical security issues within your code and remediate them. Now, Defender for DevOps has a tool called Microsoft Security DevOps, and this is a command line application that integrates static analysis tools into your development lifecycle. You can configure this tool within your GitHub Actions workflow to take advantage of the following open source tools to scan your code for misconfigurations and security vulnerabilities. And these include the Template Analyzer, which scans bicep and arm templates, and TerraScan, which can uh, scan your Terraform code. In this video, we'll be focusing purely on bicep code. Um, like I said, Microsoft does have, include support for the template analyzer, which is, tools, uh, which is a tool that is used for scanning vulnerabilities in bicep and arm templates. So what we'll do now is we'll def configure Defender for DevOps to work with our GitHub account and um, our GitHub repositories, which is going to store a bicep template. We'll then review an existing bicep deployment workflow file that essentially deploys a simple blob storage account to Azure, and then add a task that scans our bicep code for any vulnerabilities within our workflow file. We'll then run that GitHub Actions workflow file again and identify any issues that are in our code and remediate them. Cool, so let's start off with our demo. So all I've got here is a very simple bicep template that's going to deploy a storage account. So we're not doing anything special here. We're literally just deploying a Azure storage account um, with a couple of tags to it. I've also got a GitHub Actions workflow file, which essentially does a bit of linting, validates our bicep code, does a what if command um, to preview the changes we're gonna make and then we're just going to deploy um, our storage account using a manual approval step. And I've deployed this already to Azure. So if I go into this resource group here, Defender for DevOps-RG, there's the re, um, storage account that I've deployed through GitHub Actions. And here is the, my uh, repository in GitHub, which has my bicep file along with my GitHub Actions workflow file. So the first thing we want to do here is connect our GitHub account to Microsoft Defender for Cloud. So all I need to do is click on this re um, in the search bar and type in Defender for Cloud. Should pop up right there. And once we're here, we're going to need to set up our GitHub connector in this environment settings um, panel. So once I'm here, we want to add an environment, click the drop down and click on GitHub. Now this feature at the time of recording is currently in preview. Um, as far as I'm aware, there's no pricing details that have been released yet, but during the preview it's free. So what I need to do is just give it uh, a name. So Defender for, uh, for DevOps, I'm gonna put it in my uh, resource group that I showed earlier, Defender for DevOps RG. And during the preview, you can only deploy it to central US, but um, more regions will become available once it goes to GA. Now, oh, value must have like, most of 20. Let me just take some of that off. So if I just go DevOps, DevOps, not DevOps, that's okay. Cool, so now I've got to select a plan. And as you can see here during the preview, it's free, but this is the plan that we want, uh, DevOps. 
the one that's going to protect our DevOps environments and source code with advanced defenses, um, the features that I discussed earlier. Then we need to authorize our connection. So the first thing we need to do is um, authorize Defender for DevOps to give it give the application permission to access our resources. So if I click on authorize, that's going to go ahead and authorize uh, uh, the app to work with uh, GitHub. And now I need to install the Defender for DevOps app on my repositories. So if I click install here, it's going to open this up. Hopefully not take too long. And the neat thing with this, um, we can actually install this app, this Microsoft Security DevOps app on all of our repositories or just a few select ones. So if I use my personal GitHub account here, just expand this a little bit. I've given it permissions. I've used this before, but here you can see we can, for repository access, we can select all repositories or only a few select ones. So I'll show you how we can do that. If I just type in Defender for DevOps, I'm only going to pick that one because this is the one that we're going to be running um, our code scanning, our GitHub Actions workflow files within this repository where we're going to do our code scanning on our bicep code. Um, but you can do this for multiple repositories if you like, um, or you can do it for all of your repositories within your GitHub account. So once I click Save, that's going to save. And now the Defender for DevOps app is installed on that repository. So click on review and create and click create. And that's going to go ahead and create the connection um, for uh, Defender for DevOps to work with my GitHub account. Cool. Now with the power of video editing, uh, that did take a little while, um, but I've just edited it edited the video just to um, speed the things up a bit. But we can see that our connector has been created. So now the next thing we need to do is actually set up our GitHub Actions workflow file to use um, Microsoft Security DevOps. So the GitHub action that we're going to use here is Microsoft forward slash security DevOps action. Uh, and again, this is a CLI application that integrates static analysis tools into our development lifecycle. So security DevOps uses a couple of also open source tools. But the ones that we're interested in is this one, the template analyzer. And this will help, well, this will scan our bicep code um, and ARM templates. It supports ARM as well for kind of like best practice violations and any security vulnerabilities within our bicep code. So if we take a bit of a deeper dive and look into the actions YAML file, let's see how we can actually configure this. So if I scroll in just a little bit here, here I'm kind of interested in two things. So this categories uh, input here, this basically accepts a comma separated list of analyzer categories to run. And here we can um, scan our code for secrets. We can scan the code itself. If we're building artifacts, say we're um, building NuGet packages, we can use this. Um, we can scan our containers for any vulnerabilities as well. But the one we're interested in is IAC, which is an acronym for Infrastructure as Code. So essentially, we're going to add, um, add our action defining the category with um, IAC. So if I go into Visual Studio Code, essentially, I want to do this right before um, right after we validate it and before we run the preview. So let's get a bit of real estate going here. And I'm going to name this step scan bicep code. I'm going to say, all right, I need the validate stage, the stage that I've got um, defined before. Now we're going to run on Ubuntu. Um, in the documentation, it does say uh, it works only on Windows machines, but I've tested it on Ubuntu and it does work. I'm going to check out my code. I'll just copy and paste this. And then I'm going to add a step to actually run the security DevOps analysis tool. So I'll just copy and paste that and I'll explain it as we go. Cool. So this is going to use that um, GitHub action 
the security DevOps action that I showed earlier. I'm giving it an ID and I'll show you why I'm doing that in just a second. And I'm defining a category's infrastructure as code um, to say, okay, I want to scan my uh, bicep template. So it's going to look at my bicep template and know, oh, this is um, a bicep code. We're going to use the template analyzer within this workflow. And now what I want to do, uh, once we've scanned our code um, to check for vulnerabilities, we want to be able to have a way to publish those and make it visible to us so we can start to remediate them. So in order to do that, I'm gonna add a step here that's going to upload the results of our scan into our security tab. So if I go into GitHub quickly, if I go back into my repository, it's gonna show up in this tab here. Like nothing's um, shown at the moment. So if I go back into Visual Studio Code, it's essentially this step, hence the ID here, MSDO, Microsoft DevOps. Um, this is going to produce an output. It's going to produce a serif file. Uh, and this serif file will be visible uh, within the security tab in our GitHub repository. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to quickly push that. Before I do, what I'm going to just take this step here. I'm going to change this preview this needs, it's going to need that scan bicep code as a prerequisite. Make sure that's saved before I commit it. I usually do this on the command line, but I'm just going to do it using the GUI um, just for the simplicity. So adding a Defender DevOps action. I'm going to commit that. And then I'm going to push that up in, into my main branch. Once that's done, I'll go into GitHub and that should kick off this action because I'm whenever I push to main, that's going to kick off a deployment. Please don't do that in your production scenarios. Uh, make sure you use feature branches, bug fix branches. Um, make sure you use a proper branching strategy to control your deployments. Cool. So I've added that there. So if I go into actions, that's going to kick off my GitHub's action, actions workflow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that run. We'll be back in a second to see um, uh, if any vulnerabilities have been identified in our bicep code. Cool. So that's gone ahead and run. And as you can see, uh, the Microsoft Security DevOps Analysis tool has picked up a couple of um, security vulnerabilities. Now. This, um, you can view the results by drilling into um, the logs w uh, within your runner, but it would be nice if there was like a better way of actually looking at it. So what we've done is in our task, we've essentially published a serif file that's going to be uploaded to our security tab in our repository. So if I scroll up to our repository there and click on the security tab, we can see some vulnerabilities are starting to show up. So if I click on code scanning, we can now view um, all the potential security vulnerabilities within our bicep code. So here we should configure the Azure storage firewall. We should specify a minimum TLS version, disallow and honest access to blob services uh, and enforce encrypted storage connections. So let's tackle um, because just because they're easy, uh, the storage account minimum TLS version and also disallowing anonymous access to our blob service. So if I go back into my bicep code, get a bit of real estate going here. All I really need to do is just add these two properties. So there it is, I'm disallowing um, public access on um, my blob services and specifying a minimum TLS version. So what I'll do is that's save and I'll just commit that. I'm just fixing security issues, not the most descriptive commit ever, but that's okay. We'll just commit that and then push it. But before I push, I'm just going to go back into my actions file and stop that deployment. Just reject that. 
So that's going to fail because I've um, rejected that build. So if I push up again with these two properties, that will kick off a new deployment. Wait for that to be pushed. That's been pushed to my main branch. Go back into GitHub. Click on Actions. And that's going to kick off. So again, we'll let that run. Um, I'll come back and we'll see um, if those um, issues that were identified in our previous run have been remediated. Cool. So now that that's run, um, we can see that the scan has been performed on our new bicep template. If I scroll right down to the bottom of the logs here, I can see that there are now two uh, security vulnerabilities that have been highlighted. And if I go back into that security tab within my repository, click on code scanning, I can see that the TLS and um, disabling uh, public access on my blob uh, services for the storage account have now been remediated as they're no longer appearing. If I click on closed, I should see that those two have been closed um, now because my template has been updated. So that wraps up our demo. Uh, in this demo, we set up Microsoft for De Defender for DevOps uh, for our GitHub account. And then we included a task within our GitHub Actions workflow file that scans our bicep code and for vulnerabilities and then uploads the scan of those, um, the results of that scan to our GitHub repository security tab here so we can identify them and remediate them. Uh, that's the end of this demo. Let's wrap up. So to recap, we started off in this video by talking about Defender for DevOps and how it can help security teams and developers manage the security in their DevOps processes across multi-pipeline environments. We then talked about Microsoft Security DevOps, which is a command line application tool in Defender for DevOps that integrates static code analysis tools into our development lifecycle. We then finished off by going through a demo showing how we can configure the Microsoft Security DevOps GitHub Action into our GitHub Actions workflow files and use it in our BICEP deployments. And that wraps up this video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a like. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment section below. Until next time, have a great day.